Today's video from Shop Stuff, we're taking a look at barcode product programming on the NR500 series of registers. So in this video I'm using the NR510F, but the process is the same on the uh, 510R and the two versions of the 520. Um, so I've got a Hornet barcode scanner set up and configured to work with the register. I've got my barcode product that I'm adding on to the TIL programming. Uh, what will also be useful is the alpha version of the keyboard um, which I'll just sit on top for now just for the programming um, to give the product a name and then I'll also need the metal key marked P to turn around to the PGM position so obviously all programming is done in PGM so we go around to PGM uh, we press the cache enter button to go into PLU programming and then we press it again to go into add or change and I'm doing one PLU so you press cache and enter again to go into it. So the next thing to do is to take your barcode, scan it and then it comes up with all the settings you can edit for the for this particular PLU. In this video I'm just going to change the description, the price and put the product into a group because um, that would be the main three things you can do. Obviously if you press the page down button here there's lots of settings including tax rates, negative items, um, making the PLU a condiment um, so there's plenty of settings up to 34 you can apply but I'm just going to do the most popular ones just to give you an idea of how it works and get the essentials done so when you first scan the barcode it goes into page one of the settings and we want to go into the description to start with which is already highlighted so you press the cache enter button to enter and it comes up with the barcode description so if we pop this on there give this product a name you've got if you make a mistake there's a backspace button here once you've typed in your description, it's cache enter to save, and that will bring you back to the main settings. So we can see the descriptions saved in there nicely. Arrow down to the price, so check is the arrow down key. Cache enter to go into it. We've set our price. No need to enter the decimal point because the till will put that in automatically for you. And then it's the cache enter button to save. Uh, we arrow down. We're going to have the um, button set to or the PLU set to a preset you can have preset override which is on there as standard I'm gonna take that off because I don't want to allow that so you arrow down once to change it to N for no cache will save it so you can see that preset override is now set to no arrow down to group which is preset to one um, so you go into it and then if I want this product to belong to group number 5, simply type in 5, cache enter to save, and then I think that's me done with programming. You can have it belonging more to multiple groups, but mine's a fairly simple item, so I don't need any of these settings. Once you're done with the programming, you press the clear button to come out and then you can either now scan another barcode product and program that in exactly the same way or you can press clear again and again and again to come back to the main program screen from here you can turn the key round to the reg position and then the next time we scan our barcode product it'll come up with the description and the price as programmed hope that video has been helpful uh, you can subscribe for more or visit shopstuff.co.uk thanks for watching